you asked me once about this memory. I lied. I told you it was lost. I worried the wrong lesson would be learned. But this man lived many lives, and he has much to teach us. Of course, when he came to us, he was little more than a common thief, scrambling to survive on the streets of Baghdad, dreaming of a better future, not just for himself, but for all those he saw suffering on the margins. For while he lived in a golden age, at the heart and the height of the Abbasid Caliphate, scratch its gilded surface and you'd find a rot beneath. The Order of the Ancients fought to rise and spread their cruelty through the land. The Hidden Ones, as we were known then, resisted, striking at our enemy from the shadows, an eternal struggle. Centuries ago, he was at its heart, Basim ibn Ishaq. He honored the creed, he challenged it, so must we. We have it in all of us to mistake the shadows we walk for the light we serve. The time may come when we will be tested as he was. I fear that time is coming soon. Basim, breathe. Was it the Jinni again? And what did our friend want this time? To strip the flesh from my bones? Dine on my innards? Never has much to say, yet it leaves its mark. I can still feel it crawling on my skin. Hardly original. You should tell it as much. Forget the Jinni for the moment. The day is new. There is work to be done. Durwish has left another contract. Who for? Them again? We would make more money selling water to a camel. Come, Nihal. Where is your sense of duty? Duty does not fill our bellies. No, but it does enrich the soul. I will be outside. About this contract, I do not want you to mistake my words for pestering. I am only looking out for you, Yasadiki. It is no inconvenience to stand up to our oppressors as the Hidden Ones do. Do you think yourself some hero of tomorrow? The next Gilgamesh? No. I am merely the son of a public servant who dedicated his life to the betterment of his people. Only to be slighted and forgotten. But I am honored you think I could reach such heights. I may just aim for them. That is not at all what I said. It is what I heard. Such crowds. Vai, 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 vai. Here is the lazy boy. I've been waiting on you. Someone has to plan our meals. <laughs> Hold. <laughs> Food. I would not flaunt that around the markets. <laughs> Trust me. Go to Zaida's. <laughs> she uses lots of butter. That she does. 
You look weary. Are you well? It is nothing a little adventure will not fix. What do they need? A shipping ledger at the harbor. It is worth nothing by itself, but the information it contains is valuable to them. This is child's play. Do they not have anything more difficult? I can do more. Never mind your ego. The Khalifa's cards are here in number, and you would do well to remember that. You worry for me more now than when we lived in Baghdad. My worry is the same. I've only grown too old and too tired to hide it. Bring the ledger back here and do it swiftly. We have not talked about my fee. And we won't. Not until the deed is done. You know how they are. Shocking. He is just a messenger. And you are still an errand boy. You can do this one on your own. What was the final tally of what we received? Sixteen crates, one chest, half a dozen satchels. Only three crates remain last time I checked the ledger. Give their handlers until tomorrow evening. If they don't show by then, we must assume they've forgotten about their wares. Open them up. Keep whatever catches our eyes. Dump the rest. Wait here. Some eyes around the city. I'll see what I can do. She looks important. You should haggle for a better fee. Shh. Oh, Basim, what timing? Did you get it? Without a fuss. Give it here. You are one of them. There. It looks as though it was delivered this morning. You're certain it is the chest you seek? I am certain. Hey, the boy. You need something stolen? I am your man. Durwish can attest. He has given me all your contracts. Then you have done your part. I can do more. Two of my best men died on this pursuit. I doubt a street thief would fare much better. Then let me join you. You have two openings. We should take off this thief with that insult. Thank you, Darwish. Listen here, Basim. You want to keep working for me? You keep your head down and your mouth shut. <laughs> Why must you embarrass yourself like that? Like what? Like a beggar. Desperate for them to notice you. Desperate? Nihal, I am good at what I do. That woman would be lucky to have me. But she does not want you. You are a street thief with dirty feet. So why bother? Why keep pushing yourself down this path? Because being a street thief is not the peak of my ambition. I have more to offer this world than my nimble fingers. They just cannot see it yet. Oh, most ah! Jessup. <laughs> What is this? Aha! Uh -huh. This is my latest creation. It helps me fend off angry merchants when they... Uh, catch me digging around their wares. I will consider myself spared. You smell foul. What is that? Ta! <coughs> we have been fishing at the harbor since morning. Terrible luck, though. The harbor? Did you happen to see or hear any fuss over a chest? Hmm... Ah, yes! A black one. Very beautiful. Some burly guards took it with them to the palace. Shukran laka ya jasin. What are you doing? They want that chest, and I am going to get it for them. Then they will see. There is just no getting through to you, is there? Then we will do this together. If you get caught at the Winter Palace, they will kill you on sight. We will need a safe way in. 
And I know where we might scout one. That is if you can bear to follow my lead for a change. Does where you stand not awaken fond memories? Not so long ago, we were counting our spoils up here, under the cover of night. Just like this. The stakes were lower then. And so too was the prize. Well, before you claim your prize, you will first have to reach it. As far as I can see, that will take some creativity. We could always try the front gate. You will have to let me know how that goes for you. Where are you going? I've had a clever thought. If your mind is absent of one, you should perhaps follow mine. Wait! <sighs> the Khalifa appears unsettled. An unruly son is not helping matters. The young man is eager. It's his first time in the palace, is it not? Let him wander, I say. Cater to his need. Here they are. Come. Through there. The Khalifa awaits you. They have arrived, Mole. Out, all of you. I am to meet with them alone. Father, let me stay. Take him. Looks heavy. We'll never get it out of the palace. Then I will just have to take what is inside. Gentlemen, welcome. Everything is in order. I understand this means a great deal to you. Rest assured, it will be well protected here. We will accept nothing less. We will carry out our work and return to you when we are ready. Be prepared, Khalifa. Uh, might I see it once? The contents. If we are to guard this with our lives, we should know... <laughs> you saw nothing of this. You say... Nothing. Do you understand? Yes, of course. Perish the idea. Now is our chance. All right, Basim. Open. Snatch. Run. Basim, hurry. Basim! Give me that! No! 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 Do you have any idea what they will do to me? Please! I... I am sorry! This... This is your uh, fault! Uh, stop! Please! You thieving little rat! No! Run! Nihal, wait! Father! Oh. Get that boy! Hmm. 
I need you to tell me about this. I do not know what you mean. Tell me what happened. Silence is not your ally here. It is not silence. I cannot explain what I saw. That object. It did something to me. I was somewhere else, cold and frightened. Before I knew it, the Khalifa had his hands around my neck. I... It was an accident. I did not mean for... Just wanted to help. We need to get you out of here. I have a boat at the Western docks. What? No, I, I cannot leave. I need to find Nihal. Stop and think, Bassam. The Khalifa's guard is searching for his murderer, a young thief of your description. They will not stop until they have found you. And when they do, it will not be a prison they throw you into. It will be a shallow grave. I'm giving you a second chance. Take it. Nihal, Darwish. They are all in danger! Point your blamey little finger, Basim. It was your idea to steal from the palace. Also, that you can impress your cunning friends. I saved us. You killed them. You did it this. It came from over there. I hope I never see you again. Hurry! All of them. Is it him? I think so. Good enough. Move. What are you doing? Don't think.
Are you ready? I, uh... I think so. Put yesterday out of your mind. It has no bearing on today. Get dressed, and we can begin. Go on, Basin. Like we practiced. It's in the corner. Here. A small design. It is my signature. So you know I created this, and not Al-Hassan, or worse, Abu Jafar. I just you understand, Wadan. Ah, Basim, how are you? Yes, Enkidu, food is coming. He is intelligent, and intelligence is supposed to rhyme with patience. Reminds me of someone. Have you been speaking to Master Roshan? Have patience. Be kind to your progress. I will take this to heart. Roshan asked me to come see you? Ah, yes. Rebecca needs leather strips. Can you fetch those from the storeroom? I shall, Fulad. Arakalahekan. You mean the order, Aban? I can only speak of what I know, your Sardari. The Caliph wishes to nullify the rebels, and if you persist in giving them support, we cannot assure you protection from any caliphate response. The rebels supply us with information in Baghdad. Without them, we are blind. Be that as it may, Governor Muhammad is very committed to showing that he can end this rebellion swiftly. <laughs> I do not doubt that. I came to warn you. Things are moving fast in Baghdad. You may have to act sooner than expected. I hear you, Arban. Rebecca? Basim, Basim. Are you just wandering the camp aimlessly now? No, I have this leather for you. Will it do? Apparently, you've moved past the wooden swords. I protested, but Roshan insisted. Here is your dagger. And your sword. I am proud to have worked on them. This blade has character. Why would I make anything less than unique? I am in your debt. I was not expecting new weapons today. Repay me by using it on the Order. Make them feel the sharpness of its character. Good work. Until tomorrow. Basim, time for combat training. I was surprised when Rebecca handed me this. Is a sword not a coarse weapon for a hidden one? As hidden ones, we must become proficient with a number of weapons. You never know how a fight will escalate. Anyone can wield a sword, but how would you use it? I am here to learn that, Master. Are you truly here? Well, yes. I believe so. You are here in body, but are you here in mind and soul? Is this a riddle? No, it is the difference between life and death. Where did that come from? <laughs> we are done for today, Basim. Why must we stop? I learn nothing from failing. True learning requires action and stillness in equal parts. You have made the action. Now seek the stillness. Do not rush your training. Be patient. Failure is a part of progress. 
Think on these words, and come back better. Yes, Master. I will. Good. See you later. End in the middle of a snake's nest. I know how close you are to your brother. We shall learn more soon. Then we can act. Assalamu alaikum, Abu Jafar. It is Ahmed. Ahmed, my apologies. Do not worry. Come and warm yourself by the fire. Our brother Ahmad is leaving us tomorrow. To Baghdad, the house of wisdom. The house of wisdom? We have been working there, my brothers and I, for years. I still have some things to work on. Science waits for no one. And I will fulfill my duty as a hidden one by becoming your eyes and ears among the scholars. Ulath, tell Basim the story of the feather. Our tradition of the feather comes from Egypt. They represent the feathers of Ma'at. The feathers of the heron were dipped in the blood of the targets. This would be left for the Lord of the Duat to judge. It is important we remain humble and know our place in the process. We are messengers of justice and not the final judges. Will anyone help me on patrol tonight? I will come with you, Noor. I must get my body moving if I'm to warm up tonight. I am grateful. Let us go. Are you coming, Bassam? Leave the stories for later. We have not had... This is Mohja. Magnificent. Soon, you shall have one of your own. Fulath introduced me to an eagle named Enkidu. He said we have much in common, and not in a complimentary way. She sees something. Follow me. Not like the wooden targets, is it? It is not that. This sword. What of it? Mercenaries from Baghdad use these weapons. We must warn the others. He's from Baghdad. How do you know? Basim recognized the make of the sword. I believe him. Bring him in. How do you know these men were from Baghdad? Growing up on its streets, I have seen their weapons many times. And closely. Behind every mercenary is a man who gave them their orders. Yes. And we must act if we are to learn who that is. We will return to Baghdad. Seek Ali ibn Muhammad's help. Ah, oh, of course. Sahib is Zanj. He is a dangerous and delusional fool. Maybe so. But he is one of our only allies in Baghdad. We need him and we need his men. I will go back to Baghdad. Go to Ali. Find out if the Order sent those men. I will. Wafakak Allah. Wafakak Allah. Wada'an. Araka lahiqan.
On this auspicious day. It is strange, Al Hassan. My head is calmer than I believed it would be. I thought I would be a stormy sea inside, but I am calm and quiet. Because you have dedicated yourself to your training and left nothing to chance. Here, Bassam, you have earned this. It is a great honor. I suspect you understand that. Roshan and the others are waiting for me. Modern. And thank you, Al Hassan. How are you feeling? Ready to make the leap. I wish you to know it has been an honor to watch you walk your path. As a novice. And as a man. I am grateful to you for leading the way before me. I am honored. Come. Your new robes await. Ah, they suit you well. Come. It is time. Bassem, Ibn Ishaq, are you ready to leave your life behind and walk the path of shadows? I am. Are you ready to give up who you once thought you were? Ready to sacrifice everything you held close? I am. Never forget the tenets you have sworn to uphold. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Then, out of the dark, you will come into the light. And from the light, you will return to the dark. Hawk, you now follow in the Eagle's path. Wow. 
welcome, hidden one. You have died and been reborn. Now, fight me as your equal. Noor! Noor! Do not strain. Save your strength. He traveled unprepared. Left Baghdad in a hurry. Here, drink. <laughs> Ali, he is gone. They took him in the night. They? The Order. Bring him to my tent. If Ali is gone, we are blind. The Order has put a fog over Baghdad and their movements. We must go to Baghdad. Mm. Roshan, Basim, go with Fulev. Leave at once. We should keep moving. I would like to look around first, if I may. Baghdad and its surroundings call to me. Very well, but do not be long. There will be much to do once we reach Harbiya. Look for a lattice-covered courtyard near Shara's mosque. That is where Noor was gathering his information. That is where we will be. Mm. So this is a Hidden One's bureau. I expected some sort of hovel. Some bureaus are. Others can be fitted with gold trim. Wherever space we settle, all that's important is that our occupancy remains a secret. We certainly have that here. Have you found anything helpful? Nothing hinting at Ali's whereabouts. However, Noor was in contact with someone named Beshi. A name I recognize as one of Ali's closest allies within the Rebel Collective. He's a dock worker at the Upper Harbor. See if he's in the area. He may have something to tell us about Ali's disappearance. I have found something! It seems Noor mapped out this very district. Mark the factory's area to the north. What is there? Rebel sympathizers. If Noor visited this area for any reason, it is worth following upon. 
Understood. These are not strong leads, but they are a start nonetheless. Fulab and I will see what more we can uncover. Be careful. I am with Noor. You knew him, yes? I knew him. Last I saw, he was being chased from the city. Does he live? Barely, but he is safe. Stubborn bastard. What do I call you? Basim. Very well, Basim. Have you a blade other than that butter knife you carry? You may fancy yourself something bigger just now. For what? Are you setting off to find Ali? Not quite yet. These here are only half my men. The rest are being held at the Haba, further up the road. There may be too few of us to wage an attack. If you want to save your men, our approach should be a cautious one. I will go, quietly. Have these men lie in wait and escort those we free. Your kind all think the same way. But it is a sound plan. Be doing my part. Together, we will see the end of what ails this city. Look no further than Al Ghul, the man only spoken of and never seen. What can you tell me about him? He takes enemies of the Caliphate and makes them dig in the desert. Prisoners, rebels, laborers. In search of what? I do not know. These men were captured with Ali weeks ago and were destined to perish beneath the sands. Not Ali. He's been taken elsewhere. They marked and separated us. <sighs> Ali was in another group. They wanted to question him about you and your friends. Can you show me this marking? What are you thinking? Ali and Noor got close enough to Al Ghul that he took notice. If we find Ali, he can lead us to Al Ghul. Mm. It is but one path. There may be another. I will go where these men were being sent to dig and pose as a captive. Are you mad? Only stubborn. Here, take this. What do I do with it? It is a Hidma token. Those who understand its value will do what is in their power to help. I will send these men to regroup at the water mill on the northern outskirts. A rebel stronghold. You are welcome there. Wafakak Allah. Barak Allah My search for... Terwish! Azim? Azizi? I thought you were dead. I feared the same. What are you doing here? You? Your clothes? You are one of them now. How? A hidden one. Under Roshan's guidance. Oh, forgive me. This is all too much. When I did not find you among the dead, I hoped that somehow you had escaped. I spent many nights praying for your life, praying that you found safety. Today, Allah has answered me. I am not worthy of your prayers. What happened that night was not your doing. It was the doing of evil men. You know this. It is why you have chosen to walk this path. It is why I have found my way to Baghdad. Ali ibn Muhammad is brash and sees himself a great hero of prophecy. I loathe the man, but we fight a common enemy. One I must help defeat if my soul is to one day rest. So it is true. You are the rebel merchant who was helping Noor. What has become of him? He clings to life, but he is safe among our people. I am to continue his work, and hunt Baghdad's oppressors. Ali was helping Noor get closer to one such man. But as you may know, he has since disappeared. He hasn't disappeared. 
He has been captured, a fate shared by many rebels of late. Do you know where he is being held? He was taken to the Khurasan Gate guardhouse. But that was weeks ago. You even leave like they do. It is good to see you again. Just watch yourself. You may be in better hands, but I'm still a nagging old man. And Basim, if ever you are feeling a little thievish, come see me. I could use your help. Uh, for a good cause, of course. If I were in Ali's position, I would do the same. An army is only as powerful as its weakest soldier. Assalamu alaikum, Basim. Wa alaikum assalam, Ahmed. How was your journey? I am Abu Jafar. Right. My apologies. Is there a problem? Not yet. But we've discovered Ali was brokering a deal with Noor to supply the rebels with resources in exchange for his help. The order is a thorn in his side, yes, but Ali has his sights set on the Khilafah. He will want us to honor this deal. What news do you bring? Our target is Al Ghul. He uses prisoners and laborers to dig around Baghdad. Ali and some of his men were captured and marked. With Beshi's help, I freed them. But Ali had been taken elsewhere for questioning. One of the rebels showed me his mark. If this list of captives is correct, Ali was sent to the Damascus Gate prison. Where are these rebels now? A watermill on the northern outskirts. I will meet with them. See what more I can learn about this deal. Find Ali. The Damascus Gate prison is the most well-guarded prison in Baghdad. This will prove to be no small challenge, I can tell you. I will scout ahead. Meet me near the prison's front gate. A moment of your time before you go, Basim. I have some useful thoughts to share. You have my ears. First, I have fashioned a board with information brought to us by our spies around the city. Consult it at your leisure. Second, these lands are ripe with materials to improve your weapons. See the blacksmith Jawar nearby. He could help you. And lastly, I am your man for any tool enhancement. Bring me materials and you will see what mastery I can provide. There it is, as cruel and unforgiving as I remember. You were once imprisoned here. Oh no, I have never been inside. In fact, I have never stood closer than this very place. It was from here that I would fly my kite high over these prison walls. It had a unique pattern, you see. One I stitched together with my father when I was just a boy. So here I came, day after day, hoping for a gust that would take it high enough so that he would see it and know that I was here. I do not know if he ever did. I know this pain, and I am sorry for yours. I am not. Such pains forge our paths, remind us of who we are, who we can be. Speaking of paths, I see only one, and it is not inviting. No, we need to find a way to get you inside without being seen. Could this help? Where did you get that? Beshi. He told me these tokens command a high value among the common folk. Indeed. You could perhaps bribe the guards to look the other way, or enlist the help of some merchants. I shall see what flavor best suits me. I will take my leave and return to the bureau. Faqat Allah. <laughs> and you are? Basim, friend to Noor. Let us save the details for another time. We need to get you out of here. Slow yourself, Ya Azizi. We cannot leave, not yet. I need to get into the guards' quarters. What for? It is Al Ghul you are after, is it not? The guards of this prison serve him. They take shifts escorting groups of prisoners to dig sites under the cover of night. 
If we can find their orders, we may know where Al Ghul is going next. Is that reason enough? Stay close to me, stay low, and do not. St oh, come, Basim. I know how to defend myself. Really? What with? Let's try not to get in each other's way. We will not have much time. Break it down! Oh. Ali! I heard you! Over there! By the armor! Hurry! I have it! Take it to Roshan, my master. She is with your rebels at the Watermill stronghold. I will slow the guards. Now go! man came to my aid at my darkest hour. And from what I have heard, I am not the only one. <laughs> I will pay a great tribute to you in a chronicle of our exploits. But we must first write the end of it. Come. I see you two have met. Only briefly. But the night is young and there is much to discuss. About what you can procure for me. Our means are limited. But rest assured, I will listen to your needs, Ali. Later. Share what you know about Al Ghul, so that Basim may do what he's come here to do. Yes, yes, yes. Your affairs before mine. But just this once. Al Ghul sends orders to the prison guards detailing where to dig around Baghdad. But it's not just prisoners he's using. There is a promissory note for workers here. It looks like Al Ghul arranges to purchase migrant laborers as well. Who in Baghdad could make these sorts of arrangements without raising suspicion? There is but one man, Masoud Al Yaqub. He runs Baghdad's soap mills. Finds paying work for foreign settlers, most of them Persian. So he forces these laborers into working his dig sites, all under the guise of providing them with a livelihood. Meshi! <sighs> he tracked down one of Al Ghul's dig sites, posed as a prisoner. What happened? The search turned up nothing, but that did not stop the guards from trying to silence us. I cracked one skull and fled. I doubt the others were as lucky. A foolish thing to do with nothing to show for it. Not nothing. Al Ghul will be at the Karawansarai. I overheard the guards talking. Of course. Merchants from all over stop there to rest. If Mas'ud is buying migrant workers, it is <sighs> likely the Karawansarai is where he conducts his affairs. What does he look like? He is a large man. Favors adornments like jewels and silks from the east. Then he will be hard to miss. It is time, Basim. What is your plan? That will be for Basim to decide. Basim? Alone? No. Let me gather some men. And allow for foolish spectacle. Your day to display your prowess will come. But this day belongs to Basim. Consider it part of our agreement, Basim. I am ready. Then walk with me. Merchants, livestock, caravans from all walks. And I thought Anbar's markets were disorderly. Where there is disorder, there is chaos. And chaos can bring opportunity. See what avenues present themselves. Be reactive, but patient. And trust your instincts. That is Mas'ud, on the balcony, just as Ali described. I see him. 
Go now. Wet it with the blood of the slain. I will find you when it is over. Dwell hidden, Al Ghul. For you chose those with little voice whose cries you knew would go unheard. They dug at your bidding, died at your hand, and were cast away like so much refuse. All to scour the desert for some artifact. Even now you haggle for flesh, safe in the Karwan Sarai. You prefer your victims chained and starved. It is time you faced a man unbound. Turn your hate inward, Masoud. It is your wickedness that has led you here. Wickedness? To whom? The unenlightened? The feeble who have cast their lot? It is our divine will to rule over them. Our duty to exact their contribution. Contribution? To what? To what could be. The very knowledge of which lies buried beneath these sands. Some things are meant to stay that way. No, 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 no. These are gifts destined to be recovered. They speak to us, as you well know. Me? Oh, yes. The hidden one you may be, but not just. Now! 